on all my platforms. Uh, at least I hope I am. Uh, hello, I'm Ken Schaefer, and I'm here to discuss all things related to men's sexual health. And uh, you may or may not know, but this is part of an ongoing series, um, the ABCs of men's sexual health. And uh, I've been working my way up through the alphabet over the past few months. And uh, tonight we are up to the V in the ABCs of men's sexual health. So um, if you are watching on uh, Twitter, Facebook, or uh, YouTube, uh, you will see anything that I post to the screen. Unfortunately, if you're watching on Instagram, uh, any links I post to the screen, you'll have to find them in the link uh, attached to my profile. And um, I have I have a link tree uh, that has all, all the links that I might mention here in the in the uh, in this live session. Uh, it's just a sad fact that Instagram insists on making doing lives difficult. So uh, once the series is done, I will probably stop streaming on Instagram, uh, doing lives on Instagram. Uh, I will uh, mostly be multi-streaming on uh, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And then uh, I'm experimenting with lives on uh, TikTok. Um, well, TikTok isn't much easier than Instagram. They at least give you some milestones to reach at which point it will get easier. Instagram just doesn't bother helping. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's my rant against Instagram. Uh, I, I love Instagram, but, you know, they don't seem to love creators. Anyway, so... Uh, we're up to the V's and the ABC's of men's sexual health. Uh, and the, uh, the first word that I'm going to cover is Viagra. Okay. And I, I use Viagra as a stand-in for a class of drugs called PDE5 inhibitors. All right. So Viagra... There are two paths that are in operation during a, uh, to get an erection. For a man to get an erection, there is uh, the NO2 path. When you get aroused, you release nitri nitri uh, nitrous oxide into the, in, in your uh, blood. The nitrous oxide uh, acts as uh, well, what it does is then it stimulates the release of a uh, protein called, usually called CMP. Uh, I think I got that right. C. It doesn't matter. It releases a, a protein, and I'm, I, I apologize that I uh, blanked on the what is called. Um, and that protein causes the uh, smooth muscles in your penis to relax, allowing your penis to engorge with blood to get an erection. On the other side, there is uh, an enzyme called PDE5, which acts to counter the, uh, the effects of, of the nitrous oxide pathway in order to decrease your erection or to end your erection. And, and so these two processes have to be in balance. So when you're getting an erection, obviously the NO2 pathway is dominant. And when you're not getting an erection, the, uh, the PDE5 pathway is dominating. Um, and what PDE5 inhibitors do is 
they inhibit the PDE5 enzyme, which prevents it from breaking down your erection. So if you get an erection uh, and the PDE5 pathway is blocked, your erection is likely to stay longer. Um, now, this is, PD5 inhibitors are the most commonly prescribed drug for ED. And I, I don't mind the fact that people are using PD5 inhibitors or that they're being prescribed. I think they're being overprescribed and they're being prescribed because the doctor is just lazy. And I have discussed this before, but I will rehash it here that uh, ED is generally a sign of something that you are unhealthy, that some part of your health is failing and it's manifesting as ED. Uh, it could be many, many different things. The important thing to understand is that when you go to your doctor, uh, does your doctor look for the underlying cause of the ED. Now, your doctor might prescribe PDE5 inhibitors to help you help you in the meantime, but they should be uh, trying to find the underlying cause. And it's not always easy. And, and doctors are too lazy. They're, the, a guy comes in, he complains of erectile dysfunction, they throw Viagra or another PDE5 inhibitor at him send him on his way. Uh, most doctors will also test for testosterone. Uh, and unfortunately, most doctors incorrectly read the testosterone results. And so if the guy is within the normal range, they assume that he's within the healthy range, which is incorrect. Um, and they'll tell him everything's fine. And just take these pills going away. Okay, this is lazy medicine. Now, PDE5 inhibitors are fairly effective and they do work for the majority of men, but there's a sizable minority of men for which they do not work. And it really depends on what's causing your ED. And as I said before, that there are many different causes of ED. But uh, a lot of guys over time will find that the PDE5 inhibitors become less and less effective. And why is that? Well, there's probably many reasons, but one of the main reasons is, is that the other pathway is no longer operating well enough to give you an erection. So you have the NO2 pathway. The NO2 pathway uh, releases that um, protein, which I'm still blanking on the name on, which causes uh, the, the smooth muscle fibers to relax, and then you get an erection. So if you're if you're not producing enough NO, you can't get an erection no matter what. So basically, you need that path rate operating. Uh, to some extent, for the PDE5 inhibitors to work. Now, this is this is probably very common. Uh, so, a lot of guys they get on Viagra and they don't they don't address the underlying health issue. Uh, they get older, and the NO2 your ability to produce NO2 decreases pretty dramatically as you age. So they're getting older and uh, producing less NO. The underlying cause of the ED is getting worse. And eventually the PDE5 inhibitors can't compensate for what's, what is wrong with that person. And they stop working. And in fact, that was my experience. Uh, when I got ED, I, I went to my doctors and they followed the standard script. That, that is all too common. They uh, tested my testosterone 
the results. I looked back at the results and saw that my levels were horrible. I had horribly low testosterone. They didn't test my thyroid hormones at all. And the, it turns out that those are pretty horrible too. Um, they, my, my, I will give my uh, primary care physician um, the credit that he did send me to an endocrinologist for some testing and then to a, 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 a urologist. Yeah. And unfortunately, the endocrinologist was incompetent and he didn't test me. He didn't give me all the right tests. He, he missed some tests, told me everything was fine. Everything was not fine. I went to the urologist. He gave me a, a different test and he also tested my testosterone. He ordered the right testosterone tests, but I looked at those test results and they were horrible never brought it up to me. None of my doctors for the first 10 years that I was dealing with ED ever uh, were, were able to uh, uh, tell me what was going on. They didn't know what they were doing. They made many, many mistakes. Um, well, of course, because the practice of lazy medicine is all too common here in the United States and doctors are, are not, they're just, they're just following a script. And th this is the ED script. This script is guy comes in with ED. Uh, if his testosterone is normal, they tell him he's fine. They throw PDE five inhibitors like Viagra at him, send him on his way. And then what happens? when they become ineffective and that, or they no longer work. And that's, that's the problem. Not one doctor, not one doctor I saw for the first 10 years that I was dealing with ED, not one doctor suggested that I change my diet, which can be a great source of uh, nutrients for NO production. Um, not one doctor suggested that I try to eat more healthy fats, which are necessary for hormone production, particularly testosterone and thyroid hormone, which are uh, st steroid hormones. And steroid hormones are based on cholesterol, which is a fat. And so if you don't have enough fat, if you're not eating enough healthy fats, you're not going to, you're going to have trouble producing enough uh, or healthy levels of, of hormones. Um, and it's, this is one reason why I do not recommend the vegan diet. I know a lot of people out there are adamant that it's the most healthy diet, but I think that they cherry pick their evidence. Uh, I don't think you need to be on the carnivore diet. I think that you need a, a plant-based diet with about 10 to 20 percent meat you need that fat and i've known many vegans who eventually developed problems hormonal pro problems because of their diet and they had to go off the diet uh but anyway i'm i'm going on and on i tend i tend to do this i start on a subject and then i get off on another subject and uh, I'm, I'm reiterating many of the same themes that I, I've been talking about on previous lives. And, um, but they're worth repeating because the message isn't getting out. The message is uh, just, um, you know, there's a lot of guys out there who, who could fix their ED. And if you're, if you're a guy out there and in my story sounds familiar, it's like your story. If it sounds a lot like your story, I hope you'll contact me and let me help you take control of the situation. There is a lot you can do. A lot of it sometimes comes down to firing your doctor and finding one who knows what they're doing. Uh, as well as incorporating a healthy lifestyle. 
and and that that's what I do. I help men incorporate a healthy lifestyle and find a competent doctor and a few other things, but that's the main the main thing. So, uh, yeah, I've probably beaten this subject to death. PDE five inhibitors like Viagra, okay, they're they're good for a stopgap measure to help get you going again, but your doctor needs to find out why you have ED and address the underlying issues. Um, and they need to learn how to read testosterone tests too, but uh, you, you need to address the underlying issues. There's nothing wrong with using Viagra in the meantime, but you, need, you, you, can't, you can't let your doctors be lazy. They'll solve the problem for now and just create a worse problem later on. All right. So there's another thing, and I, I'm probably not going to go into too great a detail on this. And, and by the way, if you're watching and you want to ask questions, if you're on Twitter, YouTube, or Facebook, I should be able to see your questions here. If you're on Instagram, again, they, they make everything difficult. Uh, and I, I, I can't see your questions as, as they're scroll, scrolling by, or I can't track them. Uh, so if you have a question, uh, regardless of, of what platform you're watching on, leave a comment and uh, I will get back to you. Okay. Uh, the next word is Venus insufficiency. Uh, now this is, is a difficult issue that, that can cause ED or it does cause ED. Uh, it means that you are not maintaining enough blood in your penis to, to maintain an erection. And as, as far as I'm concerned, if you have ED and you're not responding to well to any treatments, you should be tested. You, you should probably get this test anyway, but you should, you should be tested for venous insufficiency. And there's many ways, there's many diagnostic procedures to test for venous insufficiency. They test the blood flow into the penis and, and they try to artificially induce an erection and they measure the, the, the flow, the outflow of blood from the penis and, and that there has to be a balance there. And obviously to maintain an erection, you need to trap the blood into your penis. And if you can't trap the blood into your penis, you have venous insufficiency. Um, I have a blog article on this. So if you go to my, my website, what you should, if you're, again, if you're watching on every platform, but Instagram, you should see that uh, on the screen. And if you're watching uh, on Instagram, you'll have to go to my, my profile link. Okay, so if you go to my blogs, uh, I have a, a great blog article on Venus insufficiency. All right, uh, if you do have Venus insufficiency, it does make treating ED much more difficult, um, but it is treatable, uh, at least for some men it is treatable. now. It turned out I had venous insufficiency. My, none of my doctors tested that. I even went to one urologist and specifically asked him for a venous insufficiency test. And he, he said it was a waste of time because it wouldn't change how you're treated. But um, he was wrong. He, he was wrong. You, it does change how you're treated if you have a doctor who knows what he or she is doing. Um, 
many years after many years of struggling to find a good doctor, I, I did find a good urologist who I'm seeing now. His name is uh, Dr. Paul Gittens, and he's uh, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and New York, New York. He has offices in each of those cities. And um, Dr. Gittens, uh, with Dr. Gittens, uh, I got what is called sonic wave therapy, the P shot and a Botox shot. And it was a game changer. It was an absolute game changer for me. Now, those don't work for everybody. Again, there's so many things that cause ED that you, 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 it's very difficult to know what's going to work for you. But for me, it was a game changer. All right. So, um, Again, if you have questions, reach out. Uh, that's what I'm here for. Um, let me see if there's any chat. I don't see any questions on coming through from social media. If you're watching this after the live has ended, if you're watching the replays, uh, leave comments. If you have a question, comment, suggestion, anything. I love feedback as long as you're nice about it i don't i don't like people telling me how stupid i am okay so uh let me wrap up there's a few things that i want to bring up uh, i have an ongoing um uh promotion with a friend of mine uh her name's lisa atkins and she uh, she produces a line of herbal products designed to support men's sexual health. And if you go uh, to herbal erotics again, you'll see the the link the link at the uh, in the corner of of the screen unless you're on Instagram and let me pull up the uh, that and the QR code should be up. You should see the QR code. If you go to herbal erotics.com, sign up for my email. Uh, I will send you a discount code for Lisa's products, a, a 10% off discount code that you can use to buy herbal erotics products. Um, and I'm a big proponent of using supplements and, uh, herbs to support your health. Um, I want to get, make a caveat on that, that th everyone needs different herbs and different supplements depending on their unique physiology and their unique diet and what they're getting and what they need and the, if you're not getting what you need from your diet then supplements supplements can make a big difference they did for me um okay so uh sign up for my newsletter you're gonna get great information i got a lot of things in the pipeline and if you sign up for my newsletter uh you'll be the first to know about them uh, i have a men's challenge coming up and i will be uh, sending out information about that. It's going to be a 28 day challenge. And I have an ebook that I'm working on. Uh, and as, as that comes to completion, I'll be giving you more information about that. Um, I, every time I publish a blog article, uh, I send out a, the link on through uh, through through my uh, newsletter. Um, now, Lisa Atkins, if you're if you're if you want to go to her website and check out the uh, Herbal Rox products, uh, that's the QR. QR code for Herbal Erotics 
uh, for Lisa Atkins inside my bedroom closet website, and you can see the URL in the the, the lower left hand corner. Um, all right, now uh, if you do not want the Aurorax products, but you just would like to get my newsletter, that's that's great. I have another place where you can sign up for my newsletter. Uh, you can either go to my website and fill in the pop-up, or you can go to healthysexualitynews.com and, and you can sign up for the newsletter there. And don't seem to have the QR code for that. But anyway, healthysexualitynews.com. All right. So I hope this was informative. Uh, I hope you'll like, share, and subscribe my content. Help me get the work at, word out. Please sign up for my newsletter. Uh, and... See, I think I think that's it. I you know, like I said, I have the e the ebook, which is going to be a practical guide for men who are dealing with ED, I, so that they can. It will be like a manual of how to take control of the situation in your life, or your life is your problems with ED anyway, and and it will it will help you uh, reclaim your health. Uh, you know, and it, so it, it's, it's on the way. That's all I can tell you. Uh, and as soon as it's available, you'll know. Um, and the challenge, stay tuned for the challenge. The challenge is going to be based on my ebook. They're very, you know, so, uh, the, the advantage of the challenge is that you'll have direct access to me to ask questions. We'll have group discussions, lives, whatever, but uh, it's on the way. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it up. I tend to meander. You know that, I know this will shock many of you, but uh, I'm, I'm not a young man, so I, you know, I, I got that old person vibe. I, I get on, get on one subject and I'm off on another. So what can I say? <laughs> it's just the way it is. All right. Um, so until the next video, thank you for watching and goodbye.